Hi, I'm Ron Timmermans, one of the many hosts with the Florida Aviation Network, reporting live and in the clear from Orlando's executive airport, the Shelter Ramp. So if you've been around aviation and a pilot for very long, you're probably already a member of one of the aviation alphabet organizations. One of those of the most popular probably is the Aircraft Owners and Pilots Association, aka AOPA. So if you're a member of AOPA, you've probably um, read their magazine. You've probably watched the uh, weekly AOPA live videos and received a number of emails from um, AOPA headquarters. And if that's the case, you already recognize my friend and guest here today, Mr. Tom Haynes. Tom is the Senior Vice President for Media Communications and Outlet with AOPA. He's also the Editor-in-Chief of the AOPA magazine. Tom, it's good to have you. Welcome to Orlando, Florida. What brings you to the Sunshine State this week? Oh, well, thanks, Ron. It's great to be here. And actually, this old girl is what brought me brought me here actually and but the reason was uh, for the space launch I uh, was super excited to see the SpaceX launch uh, that was supposed to happen Wednesday and of course weather moved in at the very last minute we were out there at the viewing area uh, with the Air Force media and uh, anyhow it just just didn't happen so we're hopeful that uh, it's, uh, Saturday will it'll happen if not then we'll, we'll hang around to Sunday if we have to and and uh, want, to, want to see that. It's very inspirational. Good. I'm sure it will be. As a matter of fact, I remember you saying earlier today that uh, it was the space program in the 1960s that uh, inspired you to become a pilot. Tell us about that. Yeah, it really was. It was the Apollo program in particular in the 1960s and early 70s when uh, I was a little kid, very um, easily influenced. And I was, fortunately, by something as positive as a space program and uh, just got excited about the technology and the idea of space travel and NASA of course had a huge PR machine in those days we had astronauts in our school assemblies and I just was enthralled with that and, and just loved the idea and I, I think that's what really drove me to have an interest in aviation and aerospace and eventually got the chance to do a little GA flying um, my parents were supportive of the idea and so anyway I, I got the chance to fly soloed at 16 got my private pilot at 17 and uh, went on from there. Been an aviator all your life then, inspired uh, partly by the Apollo program and then re-inspired perhaps uh, this weekend when you see the uh, first SpaceX uh, launch where humans return into space from the U.S. soil. Well, that's great. That's great. Well, uh, your role in um, AOPA as the senior VP, you've been with them for over 30 years, I yeah. know. And so what do you find professionally fulfilling among all the things that you do for AOPA? Uh, well, I think a lot of it has to do with uh, just creating great content and, and hopefully inspiring others. You know, that's what I'm hoping happens as a result of this SpaceX flight, that, you know, there's some kid somewhere sitting at home that sees that and gets excited about the idea of space travel and, and aviation and aerospace technology and, and maybe has a great career like I do. Uh, it's been wonderful for me. And uh, so it's, it's the idea of maybe we can inspire pilots to go out and fly more and do more things with their airplanes and, and then pass that on to others. Indeed. Well, I'm sure that uh, it will be inspirational. And now you're covering uh, what originally inspired you uh, yeah. as a journalist. And yeah. that's good. That's good. So uh, with, 30, with uh, AOPA for 32 years and flying your own airplane quite a bit of that time, how long have you owned this uh, Bonanza? I've owned it since uh, August 1999, so uh, uh, just oh, almost 21 years, almost I guess. Almost 21 yeah, years, yeah. and so uh, several thousand hours in the Bonanza, I yeah, imagine. Yeah. Where all have you been that's been of interest? Well, uh, the Bonanza is a real workhorse for us at AOPA because we use it a lot to shoot uh, uh, for video shoots and, 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 and still shoots uh, out of the back. You know, you take the double doors off the back, it makes a great photo platform. So a lot of the photos you see in the magazine, the air-to-air -air photos were shot from this airplane um, and we use it for business travel and I use it for personal travel with my family as well and been all over the central part of the country and the east coast a lot. I actually bought it in California, flew it all the way home with my dad so that was a great flight and so it's been all over. I've managed to get to all 50 states and I've been GA travel in 48 states so I need to go back and visit those final two and, and do a little <laughs> GA flying and check those boxes. I'm sure you'll make it there. That'll be good. That'll yeah. be good. So, uh, Tom, today's flight uh, that we had together was uh, one for training sortie. So uh, yeah. tell us about uh, your philosophy on proficiency training. Yeah. Well, I think proficiency training is, is super important. You know, as pilots, uh, we've done a great job all in all of, of getting better at safety. The fatal accident rate is half of what it was in 1994. Uh, but we've kind of plateaued a little bit, so it's good, but it, you know, one, one accident is one too many. So we need to keep working at being better pilots and being safer, making better decisions. And uh, so proficiency flying is, is really important. And it's not just you know, maintaining that minimum level of safety in, in, that the FAA requires. It's, it's going beyond that to, to really being proficient in the airplane, not just current. And so I really appreciate the American Bonanza Society's BPPP program and then the 
BPT program, I've done that as well. Uh, and uh, this, the, t the type specific training I think is really important for people. If, if you have it available for your airplane, uh, take advantage of it and, and learn from people like you who have thousands of hours instructing and Bonanzas and Beechcraft and Bonanzas and Barons. And you can really gain a, a lot of knowledge about your airplane that'll help you be a lot better and sort of take the airplane to the edge of the, edge of the envelope and know where that ed edge is and be able to use every bit of energy that the airplane can give you in those situations where you may have to have it. Indeed. Often when I'm helping people transition to a newly acquired Bonanza Bear and I will make sure that they understand where the edges of the envelope are and then they can set their own envelope in just right. inside that and be cap capable and comfortable but know how much the, the airplane will, will do and when they, when they need it. So that's great. And in case you were wondering, Tom did a wonderful job today. Excellent on altitude, on localizer, on glide path for all of the approaches and the flying that we did today. So it was a great, uh, great treat for, for me to fly with Tom. I've always uh, respected you and uh, look forward to seeing you at various aviation events and I won't see you at the space launch but I'll be looking at it from my uh, backyard um, tomorrow mm -hmm. afternoon or whenever it does launch on Sunday yeah. or whenever so that'll be great. So this has been great having you here uh, Tom I'm glad you uh, made it here safely and can cover the uh, the launch whenever it happens. Hope you have a safe flight back you, you and Warren your sidekick that'll yep. be good and so uh, this has been a, my most uh, distinct pleasure uh, interviewing and flying with uh, Tom Haynes today. I'm Ron Timmermans, one of the uh, many hosts with the Florida Aviation Network. We're broadcasting live and in the clear from Orlando's Executive Airport. Thank you for joining us and we look forward to seeing you the next time.